What's up, sports bettors? The 76ers are, they're currently dying, but what I'm zoned in on is the best player prop bets for tomorrow. So we have Warriors Grizzlies. As you can see, the Grizzlies are pretty big underdogs. Best odds plus 330 on win bet. And then we have Bucks Celtics where the Bucks are small favorites and looking to finish off the Celtics. So two big NBA games today. And again, make sure to check out Odds Jam. You know, you can not only read our daily picks articles, you can also check out real-time injuries, um, fastest updating injuries, as well as futures odds. So Warriors um, and Suns, both roughly plus 220, plus 240 for the Warriors to win the NBA championship. But anyways, let's get into it. The best positive expected value, mathematically profitable NBA player prop bet for today. So what I'm rolling with is Clay Thompson over four and a half rebounds. It's plus 112 on FanDuel, 2.8% profit margin. And that you can see that the, the line on Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker out there is minus 108, right? So if we just click into the odds, you can see FanDuel's giving you a pretty insane price, right? This is why it's so critical to have multiple sportsbook accounts and be line shopping as a sports better. You're never going to make money betting on sports if you're betting on clay over four and a half rebounds, minus 110 on DraftKings, when you can get plus 112, 22 cents of improvement on FanDuel. So you always need to be getting the best possible line. You can see FanDuel is actually the only book giving you plus money. And then Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book out there, has this line down at minus 108, which you can see right here, right? So a lot of value on FanDuel. This bet is positive expected value with a 2.8% profit margin. So we'll go ahead and we'll lock it in for tomorrow. Try to bet 250 on it. FanDuel's like, yo, you've made too much money off us. We'll give you 89.30. So whatever, we'll take it for what we can get. So 89.30 on Clay Thompson, over four and a half rebounds, and then I'll make sure to add this bet to my bet tracker, right? So there's a few reasons you wanna add bets to your bet tracker. Um, so I'll also just add this in here. 89.30 was the amount staked, and then our profit margin is 2.8%, right? So your goal as a sports better is have a variety of uncorrelated, mathematically profitable, positive EV bets. Um, and, you know, obviously that will lead to a higher expected profit margin and higher profit in the long run. So we hit this bet. And what we can do next is we can um, go to the bet tracker very briefly. So if I just go here and I go to my bet tracker, what's really cool about the Odds Jam bet tracker is not only does it grade your bets as wins or losses, but it also shows you when you beat the closing line. So I had a bunch of tennis bets today. Um, and what you can see is not only will this bet tracker grade my bets as wins or losses, it will also show me when I beat the closing line. So I had Denis Shapovalov, line started ripping towards him, uh, plus five and a half game spread, minus 110. And we can see that the line closed minus 137, right? So we beat the closing line. If you want to make money sports betting, literally all that matters in the long run is beating the closing line. You want this beat CLV percentage to be as high as possible. It has to be above 50% if you want to make money in the long run. But, you know, the best sports bettors can get this number above 60%, 70%. So you should be tracking it and obviously trying to get it as high as possible. Um, so anyways, we can also take a look at the zero VIG line. So the market on Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book is minus 108, minus 123. The way that every sports book makes money is by charging the VIG, charging the juice. Um, and what you can see is this bet, you know, has a fair line. Once you remove the juice of plus 106 using Pinnacle's market, using the market from the sharpest sports book in the world, the fair line is plus 106. The true odds are plus 106. We're getting plus 112 on FanDuel, right? We're getting better odds than the true odds, which is why this bet is mathematically profitable. It's positive EV. And you can also look at, you know, other sports books and back out their fair line. So the way that every sports book makes money is by charging the juice. So if you want to look at what DraftKings model is saying is the implied probability for Thompson having over four and a half rebounds, you just put in DraftKings market. So DraftKings market was minus 110 on the over, minus 120 on the under four and a half rebounds. So that means the fair line, according to DraftKings, on over four and a half rebounds for Clay is plus 104. We're getting plus 112 on FanDuel. Right. So this is a pretty big line discrepancy. You can see very clearly, you know, FanDuel is giving you a pretty incredible price. So that's the bet I locked in. Clay over um, 
Four and a half rebounds, plus 112, still available on FanDuel. Let me know if you tail. Let me know if you like it. Drop a comment. And again, thank you so much for your time.